Otherwise, if we move on, we can see that there is obviously the grow light, which obviously allows you to have things grow better with power. So we just put this here, you can see like so, and we can put a bulb in, which you can put a red one, which increases it by 10. For the base, you've got the green, which increases it by 2. You've got the blue, which increases it by 4. You can see the UV, which increases it by 8. And it does obviously require a different amount of power each time. Just go between each of these, you can see 20 RF, 30, 40, and obviously it'll increase however much that way. Otherwise, there is the uh, cover those fabricator waste collector. Uh, we that last solar cooker. If we just get some meat, it's just a pork shop, and we may try the synthetic ones as well. So we'll put this in here. So no heat there because we need the sun for this. That's uh, so one day. We'll see how much the temperature goes up by. I don't know if it'll fill up to the highest point though, or it'll just uh, change. Now, obviously, the sun, I'm assuming you'll want it maybe in the middle of the day for it to do it. This might just be a progress bar. Oh, okay, it's not. You can also stack them in there so we can get cooked pork chops. I should try some synthetic as well, and it'll cook that into a cooked synthetic as well. Now, I don't know the exact differences of these, um, other than the fact that you're just putting a synthetic tissue to then make that, and then you're using, uh, getting the sample of the output, uh, using the sample, sorry, to use alongside this. Um, so if you need food of any kind, you have that option, as well as synthetic silk. Which you can use as another alternative for string, I guess. Uh, we'll actually test these out though. But uh, obviously, the solar cooker is made like so and is used for cooking food. But we'll compare these synthetic versions from the regular. So, we want the following here. And I'll actually demonstrate the syringe and other stuff soon for the synthetic food. Synthetic leather, seems to just do the same now. Synthetic slime ball. Just to have access to a slime. And I'm assuming you can just easily use this as kind of similar to the fabricator to make more and more of them as long as you have the resources on you or enough of the contents for the samples. use the chicken to give us three here, so nothing different there, possibly nothing different there, synthetic raw cow meat you can for some reason eat, so the raw ones you can't, but the cooked you can, so that's a difference, and it seems to be just pretty much get about the same as usual, so yeah, nothing too different there, just an easy way of getting food, um, and also not poisoning yourself I guess, technically. Next up, we have the tissue reactor, which obviously is made like so, and you can use this to make the actual samples. So you want to use a syringe on a mob, just get a cow for example, and you can see it there. I don't think it harmed him at all, no health used up, so if you want to have it where you just get this, you're not losing your livestock at all, and you've got your sample that you can create the algae one, we want this one here, also want some water, so we we'll should get a fluid block here, and by using water and power, you can get a sample. So from there, you use the sample, and you get the synthetic tissue scaffolding, which you use fabric filament for, and you put it in there, and into this block, and you get some filament, uh, so we're going to bio scaffold, and we use that with power to then get the synthetic food. And the tissue scaffolder is so like so. 
that gives you possibly th one each. So, good to know. Okay. Okay, next up. I'll just need some synthetic meat here. Just get our health back up because we don't need to worry about that anymore. So, next up is obviously the algae bioreactor, which is made with a bulb and a few other things. And you can use this to make more algae, use a slime ball to make algae, and so on. Or algae, I'm not sure exactly. You can also get it from a waste collector. You want to use this for an algae bar. You can make biomass with it, you can make fertilizer, you can shred it, or you can make more. So I'm just going with the biomass, which obviously you can use to smelt, or you can use it to make biochar, which you can then make into a block, which as far as I know is also usable in the COT scrubber. So we'll actually go back to that, um, besides the actual bioreactive block, which I'll get again, because I can't remember where I put it. Uh, let's see. Biomass generator. Make that like so, and just place that in here, and it will generate power as well as biochar. So let's get some of that real quick. And put that into the CO2 scrubber, and we'll wait for that to go. I don't think it needs a redstone signal; it just needs power. Oh, right, sorry, it's for generating gas, which we already have. That's probably why. No, it's just an item form of it. Whoops. But either way. Okay. Next will be the piezo electric generator. I think that's how you say it. And pretty much what you get from this is just stepping on it. So, pretty much just standing on top of it. You don't even have to jump or anything. It'll generate power for you. So just stand on it and it'll generate power. Jumping doesn't change much, so you can just stand on it to get power. Pretty much an easy power generation method, and you probably might want to use this in the beginning. So if you don't want to use another mod, and you just want to use this mod's generators, this is probably the one to start with. It's just obviously generating one per tick, compared to say a coal generator. So just stand on it, and you'll be good to go. You'd probably run around it, I guess, as well. I don't know if other mod mobs work, though, with them being on it which they do, so you can just put some mobs on top of these and easily get power constantly, so that's cool. Um, battery for storing power is pretty simple. Um, it obviously stores up to 100,000 RF and uh, the output side is obviously yellow and the input side is red, so I actually had that reversed. So it has multiple outputs and one input, even though this is the red side, and it's still inputting anyways, so I'm not sure about that, but either way. And I don't know if a lever works, either, to reduce things. Oh, come on, I don't want to have to do the breaking animation for this now. Okay, so we'll use this signal. It's not stopping anything, so that's fine. 